Incinerators are extremely unpopular. In the United States, uh, citizens stopped over 300 incinerator projects from being built between 1985 and 1995, and they haven't permitted a new incinerator since 1995. Now, incinerators produce a toxic ash. For every three or four tons of waste that you burn, you get one ton of ash. As far as global warming is concerned, this is in kilograms of global warming gases, you'll notice that a combination of recycling and composting is 46 times better than uh, incinerators producing electricity. This is 46 times less carbon dioxide goes into the environment when you recycle and compost materials compared to burning those materials. As I've mentioned, uh, incinerators do not capture the nanoparticles very effectively. They travel long distances. They remain suspended in the air for long periods of time, especially in this Milan area where you have inversions. Spesso le nanoparticelle restano nell'aria, soprattutto in questa in questa zona, diciamo dalla bassa padana dove ci, ci, ci sono delle, delle grosse inversioni di, di, di aria and they go deep down into the lungs and when they get into the lungs they can easily cross the membrane of the lungs there is no defense the 10 micron particles are stopped but the nanoparticles go into the blood and once they are in the blood they they are distributed throughout the body and again they can enter every tissue, every tissue, the liver, the heart, the lungs and so on. Dioxins. I have studied dioxins for 23 years. The big problem is that dioxins accumulate in animal fat, grazing animals, concentrate the dioxins. Uh, we did a study in 1987, myself and Webster. We showed that one liter of cow's milk uh, was equivalent uh, to breathing the air, gave you as much dioxin as breathing the air next to the incinerator for eight months. The second problem is when we eat the dioxin in our food, it, it, we can't get rid of it. It stays in our fat. Now, a man can't get rid of it, but a woman can, by having a baby. So, what happens here is the woman accumulates the dioxin in her fat for 20, 25, 30 years, and then in nine months, it moves from her fat to the fetus. Now, the problem with that is that uh, dioxins interfere with fetal development because they interfere with hormones. They interfere with male and female sex hormones. They interfere with, um, with thyroid hormones and also with insulin and some other hormones. And they recommend that young girls reduce their consumption of animal fat long before present, uh, pregnancy. We don't, we want to get the dioxin out of our food, and yet in Italy you're building incinerators in, in Parma, Parma, uh, Parmesan cheese and uh, Parma ham. You're building or want to build incinerators in a chero, a buffalo milk. Uh, you don't want any more incinerators in Italy, period. Traduce. Lo vogliamo inceneritori, gli inceneritori, vogliamo fare gli inceneritori a Parma, dove abbiamo prosciutto e quant'altro. Vogliamo costruire l'inceneritore da cera, dove abbiamo, abbiamo i bufali, dove facciamo ovviamente la, la, la mozzarella. Non dobbiamo avere più inceneritori in Italia. In, in my view, you shouldn't build an incinerator within 50 kilometers of grazing animals 
and that means you shouldn't build. Uh, incineration is simply not sustainable. Uh, the problem of waste is not a technological problem. It's a problem of organization, education, and better industrial design. <laughs>